What's Crackalack and JFam? I'm your host, James Moreland, and today we are doing something awesome with the car. Um, I, I made a car video recently, and I guess it's pretty fun to do, and do like cool upgrades and stuff. Um, I did do a recent upgrade with the car, but I did I, I tried filming it, but it just didn't turn out good. I added some RGB footwell lights to the car. It looks pretty awesome. I'll show you guys later. Um, but today we're going to be installing something really awesome that I've wanted to do for a while, and I finally found a good set that should work pretty well for the car. Holy oh, snap. Okay. Here it is. Okay, so this is called EL wire, and EL wire is um, electroluminescent wire, I think. There's this this thing that's wedged between two. I'm, I can't explain this, but uh, basically, it's it's different than LEDs. Um, it's it's completely different. It's I don't know how to describe it. Uh, basically, it just lights up. Um, when it, when a current is applied, and it has to be an AC current, and then this is the little car adapter. Um, 12 volts to whatever this requires. So I'm gonna plug it in and turn it on just so you guys can see what it looks like because it is absolutely awesome. And uh, I got electric blue for the color. Oh, oh snap. So if you've ever seen people with like um, lines or like glowing things in their clothing, it's not LEDs, it's EL wire. Um, and I, I'm gonna be doing another upgrade with EL with the car, um, actually using EL tape, but I'll talk about that later. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be really, really awesome. The shape of this, if you can see, there's a little bit of a wedge, um, and the EL wire is on the outside. So what this is supposed to do is you're supposed to wedge this in between your trim of your car. So in between the trim, it'll glow, and uh, it's going to look really awesome. So what I'm thinking, I got one of the biggest sizes, um, so I'm actually going to be connecting it from this side. I'm going to run it underneath. There's a little bit of a lip. I'm going to be running it underneath, and then around there, and then over there. And hopefully this looks really cool. I also got some LEDs for the inside of the car. Um, but yeah, this is gonna look so awesome. I'm going to start over here in the corner and then run it around. And then with the excess, I'm probably gonna put some black electro tape over it and have it just run underneath there and then just connect in here. So um, it's not gonna be the best setup, but it should work. All right, I'm gonna set the tripod up and get everything ready so I don't have to worry about the camera while I'm doing it. Okay, so I don't really have any tools to help me with this, so it might be a little difficult, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. Okay. Um, oh, it's, it's gonna be easy, I think. It's gonna definitely hurt my fingers after a while. Um, I might get a little squeegee and try helping push it in. Oh, that, that looks really good. Look how flush that is. And then I'll just tuck this in, or I might just pull it over a little bit. Oops. Okay, this is gonna take some trial and error. And then hope, does this close on that? Kind of, it kind of closes. Okay, it's actually not that hard, and um, this I chose this specific spot of trim because there's quite a bit of space between it, if you can see. Um, some people put it in between this, and like, I can't, I can't even imagine. Let me try. In case I want to do it in the future. Yeah, th there's no way this could budge. And this is a Passat Volkswagen, so yeah, there's, there's no way I could do that. But this should look pretty good here. And I do have LED floor lights, and those are... I can change those, those are RGB, so I'll just set it to the a matching color, probably like cyan or something. Um, let me turn on the car and see what this looks like. I Hopefully it looks pretty good. Oh snap! Oh snap, are the footlights on? Here, let me turn on the bottom ones. Oh snap, that looks really good. It's like so sleek, I can't wait until it's dark too, because like, let me turn off the lights in here. That's gonna look so good. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of a problem here. Um, so my wheel can go up and down, and there's a gap right here, and there's no trim that I can shove it in. Um, some people go above it, but I can't really do that. It's not an option in this car. I mean, maybe, but I don't think that would look good. It might look tacky. Um, so what I think I'm probably gonna do is try getting as taut as I can, and then come in here with like some adhesive clips and try connecting that right there. Um, I hope that works. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a little more difficult than I thought, and uh, since I'm going to be driving, I don't want to be annoyed the whole time. Um, so I, I decided to shove it in between down there, and it's actually going to be going underneath the steering wheel, and then going around on the other side. And I didn't realize how hard I can bend it. I can actually bend it quite a lot, um, so that's kind of a sharp curve. Um, and it's going to come up here as well, and then go down there. 
And then I guess follow this trim right there and then I probably put like black tape over it and then connect all the way down here. Connect it with the wires and it should look good. But so far, this section is basically done. So if I get the keys, you can just see how cool that looks. And it's not even night. Like I have LEDs in here and they're pretty bright. But yeah, we're looking at something that's going to be pretty awesome. One eternity later. That took a long time. That, that took a lot more time than I thought it was going to take. But yes, I did finish. And uh, it looks pretty good. I mean, I haven't even tried it, but I mean, I, I hope it looks good. Uh, it just took a lot of time. I've just been sitting out here in the cold and I guess I got it to work. Um, I didn't fix all the wiring, but I'll show you what I did and how I wired it. But first, let me just show you what the final product looks like. All right, three, two, one. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay, so uh, let me show you what I did. Okay, let me turn off my floor lights. And uh, yeah, you can see the wire goes down there. It kind of has a little glow right there. Um, it, it actually is pretty good. So if you follow me on my Instagram, at James Morlin, you guys see that I do quite a few little different car upgrades, um, such as like fixing the, or changing these LEDs. And the, the garage is dirty, yes. <laughs> putting headlight LEDs, putting headlight turn signals, um, doing the floor lights. I tried putting an underglow in the car, it didn't work, and I'll explain everything in a sec. And I guess just putting tints on. The one thing I've noticed is my car does not like upgrades, especially the kind that I do. Um, this is a Passat 2012 uh, SE or Sport Mode or whatever, and it, it does not like upgrades. It's just meant... I feel like that's with a lot of um, foreign German cars. I feel like they're not the easiest to upgrade. Um, just because they're they're just like built really well, I guess. Uh, I know some people criticize me for that, but I mean, I just I like I like Volkswagen. But yeah, let me fix some of the trim. Um, but yeah, so they're just hard to upgrade. Like this trim is really tight. Changing out this LED was one of the hardest things I had to do. First, I had to remove this, this one, and then I had to remove this panel. And it was just a lot of work. But everything in the end looks good. Um, and finding the right size LEDs and stuff, it's just a lot of work. And when we were changing the DRL, which is the daytime driving lights in the front, it was really hard to do that. Um, but yeah, I think it looks so cool. Uh, so I ran the end of it all the way across here and it's just a straight solid line. It's gonna look great from the passenger's point of view. It wraps itself underneath around the steering wheel and then also down below, which is nice because even if the floor lights are off, this will always add a little bit of illumination. And then um, I like to put my foot here ironically, and that, that's so cool, like traces my foot. Oh snap. Um, so it, it wraps back up here, and this EL wire is also hard to bend, and then I had to bend it across here. Now what would have been really awesome is when I opened the doors, this would have bent down, but that doesn't really work because this is not that tight of a trim. It's gonna have that annoying noise. But this isn't that tight of trim, so it wasn't able to stick in, so it's just floating there. Um, and then it, it loops itself down underneath, and then it kind of follows its own little curve of tension. And then there's some trim right where the foot part is right there. I put it in between there, and then it's just underneath the mat. And then it goes up down here, and then just to directly into the outlet and during the day you can see it has a little bit of a white shine to it I'll I'll actually pull the car out side so you guys can see in a second But let me turn back on the car in the dark so you guys can see what it looks like because I think it's just so cool Ugh, That's so awesome um, so this is also great because if you're looking for something in the car, um, let's say the passenger is looking for something and even if it's pitch black outside, there's still lighting down by the feet and then there's now lighting up here and it's not just pitch black. Um, let me see what this looks like from the outside because I love when I have upgrades that people let, that are driving next to me can see. Like this. <laughs> so if someone like pulls up, oh snap, they can. Even with the tints. I need to fix that a little bit. It looks a little um, too far in, but that looks so cool. So I'm going to be leaving a link down below um, if you guys check it out, that would mean a lot. They have some from China that are cheaper and some from the U.S. that are faster shipping but a little bit more expensive. So consider that. I'll leave a couple links down below if you want to check them out. And also LED footwell lights. Those things were really cool. I tried filming it, but the lighting wasn't good. That's why I'm actually filming in the garage and I have the big bright lights up there on um, when I was filming earlier. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. I love making these car videos. It's a lot of fun to do and I mean I haven't really vlogged recently which I need to do so let's turn on the car and see what it looks like I just think it's gonna be so nice when I'm driving at night look at that it's just gonna have that nice blue lighting and then uh, let me try fixing where that trim went in too far <sighs> okay well that's kind of stuck in I feel like if I was having like some passenger in the car it's just gonna fall out that would be so embarrassing um, but I think it looks really nice. It's like a nice flat bar and then I love how it has that little foot well because I do put my foot there and sometimes at night It's hard to like feel around and I don't want to hit the brake 
Um, and it is automatic, so I don't have like, a clutch or anything. But um, yeah, that's so cool. Uh, but yeah, let me pull out the car so you guys can see what it looks like in the daytime, and that'll be it for the video. Oh yeah, this was the other upgrade we were talking about. Okay, so during the day, this is what they look like when they are on, and this is what they look like when they're turned off. So it doesn't really stand out, which is really nice. Um, you can barely tell, and I got the ice blue. Some of them are pre-colored, so if you got like the dark blue ones, it would actually be like a blue tint to it, but I got the clear ones because they're ice blue. And they also have red and green and on different versions. So let me plug it back in so you guys can see. I'm probably gonna leave it always on along with the footwell lights. Um, this could wear out faster, um, so it might last only like a year, a year and a half. But honestly, I don't really care. It's so cheap. I could just buy a new one later um, and I could probably get better and better at installing it. Um, but I don't really think there'll be a problem with that. One thing to consider if you want to wire this directly to your car it does need this little converter. It converts the power from DC 12 volt in your car to AC. I don't know the voltage and the and these wires require AC to be able to work. Um, so you need to consider that. So you have to get the kit that has um, a pre-cut ones and then or you can just cut these and solder them onto maybe your headlights or something else that turns on or get some fuse connector. Ironically, one of these fuse things, this should work if I wanted to, um, but I think I'll just keep it as it is. I, I do have a USB slot right there and uh, I don't really have any problems with that, but yeah. All right, guys, that is going to be it for the video. If you enjoyed, again, drop that like down below. That means so much. If you want to see some more car videos, also comment that down below because I love doing car things and car upgrades if you can't tell already. Um, it's something like I'm passionate about. So uh, make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell. Check my link for my Instagram down below. And if you want to check out these uh, lights, make sure you use the links down below. I'll catch you all on the flipping flop. See you all later. Bye.